Obviously, we've been talking to the same NPCs. Oh, this world in the next quest chain? Mm-hmm. Thanks for clearing the mobs. I can take you from here. Or you could just piss off, Pinky. Oh, you first, Elvira. Bitch, I will pop a musket ball in your ass. What have I told you about? Relax. We're all friends here. Besides, it's a gnomish device. We might need some gnomish eyes in it. So sleep. Well, if you OD, your creepy robot can give you the piece of fun, not me. I know you're only doing it to impress the gnome. Look, do you want to trip on a zombie? Beat us to it. Sure, it was me. Three spots. Looks like this is just turned into a manhunt. I'd say it's more of a race. We're gonna have to kill your pet. It's attacked a few of us already and we can't risk trying to capture it. We don't want to do this. If you could just try to talk to me. This is ridiculous. How'd it go? About as well as expected. You absolutely sure you want to do this? We've been through this. I'm support class, remember? So I need to learn how to support, right? Besides, I'm bored of hanging around, healing owies and boo-boos. I want to try something juicy. Well, hopefully you won't get the chance. Seriously, if I could get your leg chewed off, that would be really useful for me. Quinn, mate, are we still on for weapons training tomorrow? Yeah, uh, midday near the training dummies. Bring a shield. How will I know when it's midday? It's when you don't have a shadow. You managed to convince Clint to help us out? If he's gonna run a protection racket on us, he might as well do some protecting. Brave adventurer, you look like the type who... Oh, hi. Oh, Kimberly. I know it's been uh, busy and all, but have you had any more thought about my suggestion for implementing a system of protection for NPCs? We've been hearing some pretty awful stories of abuse and they were here yes, first. Yes, we need to talk about it. What are you doing tonight? I'm teaching a sewing class, but I can reschedule. No, 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 that's important. How about I come find you right after this, okay? Thank you, Serena. <laughs> hey, Quinn. D&D &D tonight. Oh, I think that's going to be tough, Daniel, but keep me posted, OK? All right, will do, boss. Isn't it nice being popular? What's she doing here? She's coming with us. Seems an unnecessary risk of a valuable resource. Look, I'm getting sick and tired of you referring to me as resource, Clint. I said valuable. Are you people ready? 
No worries. Watch that already for action, sir. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Clunt. Oh, this bloody influx of New Zealanders, I eh, Clunt. You read comics? Marvel or DC? You lot behave yourselves while I'm gone, yeah? So we know it's smart, it won't attack all of us together. You two head that way, try to flush it out. Oh, Serena, you stay with us. You know I'm not actually a part of your guild, right Clint? You can't tell me what to do. There is a time and a place for feminism, Serena, and right now is not the time to be- what? Yeah, hi, uh, I'd rather we didn't split up, but that's okay. Oh, don't tell me you're scared of one dog. Hey look, I've seen this dog, it ain't no Labrador. So what do you want me to do, sweetheart? Get one of Quinn's LARPers or cosplayers or writers of erotic fan fiction to replace you? You don't want to be here. There's plenty of people lining up to get into the Devil's Cheerleaders. Ain't that right, Daniel? It's Derek, sir. Yeah, to totally. I took a chance on you, sweetheart. Don't push your luck. Hey, hey. I've got a better idea. Use the unarmed woman as bait. Yeah, this is a great idea. We both know she's not exactly unarmed. If Thor leaves his hammer in a forklift, does a forklift driver have to be worthy to pick it up? Um, I'm not familiar with that dirty, my friend. You role playing? Oh my god. Hey, Quinn. You're gonna have to do something about the prisoner. You know that. Of course I know that. Do you? Or are you just stalling? What if he leaves in an elevator and someone else pushes the button? Dude, can you not? You're totally destroying my immersion. Well, how much more immersion do you... Wait, I think I got something. Where? We've got a good thing going on here. You all lot provide food and shelter, mine provide protection. Let's not mess it up over one orc. You both know that this good thing is pretty one-way, Clint. Shit! What are you doing? Look at your parchment! Just saying, mate. Makes you look pretty spineless. There, three o'clock or hours? You see to her, we'll stay on it. Oh, Jesus, my mother of God, that hurts. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Stay still. Try not to move. You're going to be okay.
there. Wait! Wait, don't shoot! We're hunting! Serena, run! Nastogi! You made it. Hey! Hey, you can't just lock us in here! They just did. Hey, you okay? Son of a... Bitch! Ow! Ow! Jesus! Ow! 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 Fuck! The pain again? Yeah. It's in my head this time. Oh, God, it's fading. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Is it getting worse? No, it's... Just, just forget it. So that guy seemed to know who you were. Is he the one who sent the note? Yeah. So who is he? Ah, oh, shit, it's not your ex, is it? I wish it was that simple. Oh, Jack. What have I gotten us into? How many more are we gonna lose? Brendan, Mabel, Steve? Hey, it was Steven's decision to leave. And it was Mabel's decision to follow you. She died getting us here. Hey, that is not your fault. Okay, none of this is your fault. But it is though, Jack. This is totally my fault, more than you know. What do you mean? That guy. He's me. Got some chick out here, seems pretty insistent on seeing you. Something you're not telling me? Well, I won't know until I see her. Bring her in. Please, would you please bring her in? Thank you so much. See, that didn't hurt, did it? I know that armor. And their outfit. Where did you get them? It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I, you ever have one of those ideas that seems really great when you're drunk? And really bad when you're sober? I don't get drunk. Okay, okay. Um, the person who wore this armor, would you describe them as a friend? More of an annoyance. Hey, hey, hey it's me, it's me! It's, it's Stephen! Explain. Put him on the table. Quickly! Okay. I think I can help him. I want to know where you put that woman, Queen. Look what she did to one of my men. It's not the time. I will... Tear this goddamn nerd convention apart! Why don't you try that, Clint? Let me know how it goes! Clint, you need to leave! You better pray he lives! Uh, you two! Out! Oh shit, it, it, it hurts! It's okay, you're in good hands. Uh, 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 what can I do? Catch me when I fall. If I wasn't so weak, maybe Brendan would still be alive. I got tired of being a puny-ass chick, okay? No offense. So, I dumped Q, I found a wizard, and I asked him to turn me back into a dude. 
He asked me what I looked like, and I said, brunette, great body. I guess he stopped listening after that. Steven. Yeah? The last time we met, you punched me in the face. Yeah. Repeatedly. Okay, I'll admit that things got a little heated. And I... then, you slammed my head into the table. It was... You almost broke my nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were, like, kicking me, like, really hard. But hey, that's all water under the bridge, right? I mean, we fought shoulder to shoulder. That's got to count for something, right? It might. Look, I know I've made some mistakes in the past. If I'd have stayed with you guys, maybe Brandon would still be alive. And I've got to wear that. But I'm here, and I'm offering you my services. And to make amends. Plus, I'm not really one for survival skills, so if you send me away, I'll probably just end up in the digestive system of something mythological. You're talking about alts? Yeah. Oh my god, I never even considered. He's you, in another body. Seems like it. Although, he was the main character on my, uh, our account. Higher level, better gear, so technically I'm the alt. Ah. Oh. oh, wow. Why, how many characters did you have on your account? Like 20. Does that mean there's 19 other me's wandering around out there? Oh, God, that is a horrible thought. I knew I always knew you'd be an ultaholic. <laughs> is it the pain again? No, no, it's just this place, you know? It keeps finding ways to mess with your head. So wait, he's a guy. Mm-hmm. You're not. I don't want to bring up the elephant in the room. The very non-white elephant. Does it matter? No. No. I guess it doesn't. Gotta say, though, so far I'm really not digging the new you. You're not supposed to be here. Changing of the guard, mate. These prisoners are ours now. Yeah, but Quinn said... Oh, yeah, Quinn. Listen, mate. I think everyone knows that this situation can't last. Sooner or later, the power's gonna shift. And I, for one, will remember the people who helped me. And the ones who stood in my way. We'll see. We've been over this. Oh, it's Rogue 101. Healers can heal, mages can do magic, I should be able to turn invisible. It's an in-game representation of a physical ability that would take years of practice to master. Anyway, right now's not the time. You need to come with us. Oh, like hell. Uh, she killed one of the devil's cheerleaders and that's not something we can do. Oh, screw the so. devil's cheerleaders. I wish I'd never founded that stupid guild. <laughs> oh, God. Jack. Look. I don't know who you are, but I'm not going anywhere until I speak to m the leader of this camp. Besides, your guy shot at us first. Our guy was called David, and he was 15. She called him Jack, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, sweetheart, here's what we'll do. Take off that tabard, hang out here a bit, then say you're taking the woman to Quinn, bring her to our camp. She won't know the difference. I'll take care of the guy. Was he really only 15? Mate, I don't even think his name was David. I can't believe you let him stay. What are we, a sanctuary for Freaky Friday syndrome sufferers now? He had some good points. You should have asked my opinion. I'm sorry. When did this become a democracy? When did it become a dictatorship? He doesn't know where Q is, but he does know where she's going to be. Should I be worried that you're openly stalking this chick? Uh, relax. Q and I did our dance. We had our fun. 
I'm more interested in her companion, the bard. What's his name? Jock, Jake, the jackass. Jack! Amy is trying to find her way home. And I bet you that she's going to look up her lover boy first. I want to know when that happens. Even if she does have the device, I think she will be ready to negotiate. But she can't get to the final stage of the quest. Well, I have the quest giver. would have done the same thing. What? If I gave you the same choice, take Brandon and go, leave Q behind, you would have taken it. You want to see her suffer, don't you? Get her back for what she did to you? Make her pay? I know because I wanted the same thing. Q hurt my pride and a lot of people that trusted and followed me died. Because I couldn't get over it. Because I wanted revenge. That moment is sweet. The aftertaste is a bitch. This is a portal stone. They enable fast travel across the world. This is how you're going to get to Greenstone Hills ahead of Q. Once you get what you want, you'll use this thing to send me home, right? Like we discussed? As soon as you get back. All I want is the device. All you have to do is tell me when the gnome arrives. Probably the 50% survival rate. 50%? Sometimes only 50% of the person arrives at the destination. Our wizards are still getting the hang of it. It can get a little messy. Can we hurry this up, please? This is it. This is the only way home. Back to your real life. He knows I can only open the portal from this end, right? Must have forgotten to mention that. Hey. Lady. Quinn's ready to see you. What's happening out there? Will you be all right? Big building over there. Drew! <laughs> Please. 
Please. You first. I got your note. You ask me or I'm here. Why? Straight to the point. When can we get our weapons back? Soon. But you won't need them here. Trust me. No offense, but I've heard that one before. Why am I here? I wanted to surround myself with people I can trust. And who's more trustworthy than me? That's it. You dragged me halfway around the world for a goddamn looking for group session? You're angry. I get it. Oh, you're damn right I'm angry. I've been out there struggling and fighting while you've been in here playing Ren Fair with your tent. And I bet. I bet you even have a bed, don't you? Would it be redundant to say I know how you feel? Actually, I don't think you do. Because there's only one reason I'm here, only one reason I trudged through swamps and deserts and jungles and watched my friends die. Because your little note made me believe that maybe, just maybe, there was someone here who had found a way back home. Back to our daughter. Yeah, you remember her? Of course I do. She's on my mind every single day. Well, like some missing pet. What have you been doing? That's enough. Don't you try to pull rank on me. You may be the main character on our account, but we're the same person and... I've been... I haven't st stopped. I... You're me. I can't believe you haven't been doing something to get home. Please just tell me I haven't wasted two months getting here. Please just give me that. I can give you that. And more. Finally! How much longer are we gonna have to be in here? Sorry, mate. We just had to clear some things up. I can take you to your friend now. <sighs> Oh, uh, just you for now, not him. What? Why? We've had some trouble with this kind in the past. People get jumpy. Or you could just stay here. Up to you. You'll be cool, right? Big strong lad. I've told very few people about this. It's really important that you keep this a secret. Sure. Are you having an existential crisis? You're not how I expected you would be. People change. Near as I can tell, it's this world's equivalent of a PC. Oh no, this is definitely a Mac. Where did you find it? That's not important. What is important is what it does. You look... Brave adventurer, you look like the type who... What? You don't know who I am, do you, Jack? No. I mean, there's a lot of people in cheerleaders. Which one are you? Come on, mate. Level 80 paladin. Your pal from down under. Mate, it's Clint! <laughs> oh, hold up there, mate. Technically, you're still under guard. Clint? Yeah, mate. Small world, eh? I know we had our differences, but bygones, right? You stole my guild, you kangaroo molesting psychopath! Who 
who else knows about this? Serena, our healer? I needed to test the theory. When she switches it on, the image is of her bedroom. So it seems to attune itself to whoever uses it. You said you think it can help us get home? I do. And the sooner, the better. What do you mean? The situation here is unstable. Clint and his guild have been parked outside our gates for weeks now, stealing our food and supplies. We've come to an uneasy truce, but your rival, the ranger you shot. He's dead. And Clint's not gonna let it go. But listen, we should go and check in your friends. There's something really important that I need to tell them. I built that guild from the ground up. It was the only thing I gave a damn about, and you, you, you poisoned it, you goddamn cancer. I just took it in a direction people wanted it to go. You kicked me out. It was nothing personal. It's the NPC guards. They've kept us from harm, but they're a pretty blunt instrument. What do you mean? I just offered some alternatives, and it kind of snowballed until the idea of a leadership vote came up. Oh, it came up, did it? Yeah, exactly where did it come up from, huh, Clint? OK, bottom line, the guild was poorly run. You were a shitty GM. People thanked me for kicking you out. It's very important that nobody starts any acts of violence around them. Don't worry, mate. We're not all cut out to be guild masters, right? You son of a bitch! No! Oh. Run! Run! Shit! He has to get to the gate. Don't attack them. They'll kill you too. Run, oh. 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 I'm so sorry. Come on. No. 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 Hey, I was just talking to him. You could have done that the whole time? Ah! Oh. Ah! Ah! You should know not to start fighting you two Don't you lecture me on game mechanics! Oh, watch out! Get out of the village! I'll try to slow him down! Ah, somehow... Don't usually like playing with this many proxy cars. Mate, they're all proxy cards. Open the gate! <laughs> oh, God. We built the gate five meters outside of the guard's aggro range for precisely this reason. I can't leave you alone for five minutes. What's wrong? He knew. What do you mean? He knew about the guards and he tried to get me to attack him. The son of a bitch straight up tried to murder me. <sighs> Wow. Yeah, I have issues. I'm working on it. Alone? Yeah, it seems the best way. Your friends in the guild? I don't have any friends! I'm glad your ankle's feeling better. I tried to do the right thing. 
I tried. I tried to save someone. Someone who was my friend. Someone I didn't deserve. And I failed. And I don't know what life lesson I'm supposed to learn from that, you know? Like, don't get attached. Don't try and do good or you'll just get people killed. My experience has taught me that life has no meaning. It's devoid of morality or divine oversight and is ultimately pointless. Well, that's not exactly the pep talk I was expecting. But it's the best knowledge of all. You stop looking outside of yourself for meaning. You concentrate on the things that really matter. Like personal happiness. Happiness of those who you care for. You create your own meaning. Yeah. Well done. Anything can be fixed with the proper care. It was nice chatting to you. Uh... Uh... Brenda. Brenda, can I show you something? I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it a little princess bride? <laughs> God, these guys have got a lot of clothing. LARPers and cosplayers. Quinn says a lot of them grabbed garb before food. You guys were uh, talking for a while there, huh? Can we um, talk about it later? It's a lot to absorb. Yeah, sure. Totally. You having any luck, Varuga? <laughs> hey, you guys finding what you need? I'm just happy to get new pants. <laughs> some of those shirts actually had some pretty impressive stats in the game. I can help you find... No, thanks. <sighs> he knows. They all do. Jack, play nice. Are you sure that was a good idea? I trust them with my life. Holy shit, you guys. What? What is it? They have a mirror. <gasps> it's everything I imagined. Look at those baby blues. <sighs> and the chest hair. Hey. You okay? Hey, I, uh, I was saving something for you, in case you ever showed up. And I know for a fact you're gonna like it. Oh my god, it's... Isn't it? How did you know? <sighs> ah! Ma! 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 Veruga! Hey! Ma! You okay? Turuga, my aunt, Oga, Turuga, my aunt, Anna, my aunt, Veruga, my aunt, my aunt, calm down. Breathe. You can talk to him? I could only imagine how Clint talks about us here geeks, nerds, dreamers. But a skilled cosplayer can knock a patronic from a bolt cloth in a day. We've got reenactors even more hardcore than that. They've built a loom. They're weaving linen from the local flax. All these people from all around the world working together. Different languages, different cultures. It's quite beautiful to watch. Why are you showing me all this? Because Clint doesn't get it. And I don't think Quinn does either. We've got a chance to build a new world here. I want you to get it. 
so you can show it to others. Well, maybe I don't get it. Because your beautiful dream is just made up of people. Yeah, they've got new bodies and a new world, but they haven't really changed. It's like the cheerleaders, they're already divided into racial lines. The elves look down on the humans, the dwarves hate the elves. Because tradition. And everybody hates the gnomes. We're all just finding new ways to, to hate each other. Is it really that hard to try? To try and hope for a better world? I just want to go back to my old shitty one. You know, I, I'm, I'm really not sure about this. We're all here. The prisoner's totally secure. It'll be fine. How are you even here? I was making my way back to find you and I... I stayed with Q and, and she took care of me. Kevin, we gotta get out of here. These people are not your friends. Ruga. Kalek Makta. They really want to know your name. Oh, you know my name. I'm your brother. Matt. Mark. Matt! His name is Matt! Mark! I don't know how to find you. I'm sorry. It's okay, bro. It's okay. Listen, I was making my way back from the wastelands to find you when these bastards caught me and stole all my gear. Hey! You got my hammer! Have you seen my dog? Can you shot it? She shot my dog. It wasn't her fault. It was an accident. Why can't I tie under the bread about that dying other? Oh shit! They're figuring out we know each other. Kevin, come here. Closer. I need to tell you something. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. But now I think we're enemies. Now we can plan. We can make a plan, bro. <laughs> Linda, I can't. Ooh, don't need no translation for that. Sorry, I never thought. It's fine. He'll be fine. Just don't ask him to do that again. Do you have anything for his nose? There'll be some ointment in the medical tent. Hey, I don't think it's a good idea to split up. For God's sake, Jack. Can you see what I'm dealing with here? Just head back to Quinn's office. I'll meet you there. You'll be all right, Jack. Just don't piss off the guards again. Easy for you to say, Quinn. You haven't got somebody trying to kill you. Oh. Oh. Where is it? Where is it? The computer, Jack. Where's the computer? How's Viruga? He's fine. Snoring peacefully. 
Anything good on tonight? It's nice to just have it on for a while. See if anything changes. It's so maddening. Feels like I could just reach through. Mom and Dad were planning to visit that day. She wouldn't have been alone for long. That's what I tell myself too. What do you miss most about her? I miss the sound of her breathing. And she falls asleep next to me. I miss her constant questions of the world that I didn't know how to answer. I miss the quiet murmur of her talking to her twice. And I never listened to what she was saying. Because, because I was, was always, always on the, the damn computer. computer. about the NPC Equality Alliance. Uh, sorry, what? We're a new organisation dedicated to the rights of the NPC, committed to halting the blatant abuses they have been suffering at the hands of the colonisers since launch day. I believe they have so much to offer us if only we took the time to listen. Can I count on your support? Yeah, sure, no, of course you can. I just have to go, I gotta go away I, now. See ya. So, oh, No one wants to help. Greetings, citizen. Are you offering assistance? Hey, don't shoot. It's just me. About time. You're welcome. Have you found it yet? I told you. I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for. While you've been following your elven princess halfway across the world, I've been talking to NPCs, doing quests, learning. In the last patch, a gnomish inventor created a device that could open a rift between worlds. He deemed it so dangerous, he separated the components. Putting it back together was part of a quest chain that could lead to ethereal planes, the new playable area in the next expansion. How come I never knew about any of this? Because you never read the patch notes. Anyway, I believe the device is here, and it works, but instead of leading to the ethereal planes, it could lead us back home. Holy shit. But you said it was separated. The power cell's missing. It can open a projection, but not the portal. So, we get the power cell and we plug it in, and then what? We just walk through? It's not that easy. The NPC who gave me this quest was quite clear. No divided souls shall pass through. Divided souls? What is that? If you want to go through the portal, you can't have any alts left in the game. Oh, shit. I mean, I have, like... Had. What? Being feeling any weird pains recently comes and goes suddenly in random places. Yeah, why? It seems to happen every time an alt dies. 
On the boss side, I think I've really worked out my anger issues towards you. Is it ironic that we're actually inside a computer game and we're still spending all of our time in front of a screen? And you've tried different combinations of uh, switches and dials. Yeah, this one turns the sound off. Beyond that, I'm stumped. I've thought about pressing different combinations of buttons, but I'm afraid of losing it altogether. What? What is it? That piece of paper on the counter. It moved slightly, look. And now... There was a window open that day, remember? The sun was out and it was hot, so we let a breeze in. God. This isn't an image. It's a recording. Oh God. Oh God, no! No! Uh, I mean, I knew you were nuts, but I never thought you were a full-blown psychopath. Why would you do that? So we can go home! I thought I was doing you a favor! I don't want to go home, you cotton candy cutthroat! Oh, they're all gone. Jake the Ranger, Jock's the Druid, Jock the Warrior, they're all gone. Yes. What about Jock, my goblin engineer? You didn't get him. No. Oh, thank God. He blew himself out with his rocket boots trying to escape. Oh, God! Jack. <laughs> There's something else about this camp I need to tell you. Clint is here. Yeah, I know. He tried to kill me already. In fact, between you and him, I think my odds of survival are pretty damn low. Wait, how did you recognize him? I didn't know who he was until he told me. We had a run-in already. What did he do? Let's just say he got what he deserves. What did he do? Hey. Hey. Look, I just, I just wanted to say sorry if I was a jerk or bitch or whatever, you know, before. It's just, this place hasn't exactly done me any favors. I understand. I don't know what you've been through, Brenda, but as cliche as it is, Hyman's a far better healer than I will ever be. You said once that you tried to do the right thing. Don't be afraid to try again. Clint! Oh, g'day, Jack. Listen, you don't need to apologize for the other day. It's a whole new world. Shut up, Clint. I'm calling you out. Excuse me? Like, you're going down, and I'm the one you're going down on. That's not... I mean... I want to fight you, dick. reason I asked you here. Fresh eyes. If this is a recording, there must be some sort of playback control. There? Try faster. Ugh! That's it? Sound. The sound. Here. What? 
You must feel it too. You would love to stay here if you could. We can do that with her. Away from war. Away from fear. We can even give her two parents again. I... Quinn. Quinn, are you there? Uh, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> What's up? Trouble. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, Jack, I guess this was always coming. This is rich. You come in here wanting to protect Amy's honor. You know what she did right after she dumped your ass? She came to me, mate. We screwed on the bargain table like animals. Oh, oh you're a loser, Jack. You always were and you always will be for the rest of your life, which is about 30 seconds. Stop! You! Yeah, me, Clint. Back off or I'll turn your head into a fine red mess. You're bluffing. No, she really isn't. Jack! Amy? What's up? Jesus, Jack, what are you doing? This asshole attacked Amy. I don't need you to be my white knight, Jack. This is what I was saying, Serena. These guys are nothing but trouble. Shut, Shut up, Clint. Clint! Yo, Quinn, you gotta do something about this. I've got a friggin' gun pointed at my head. Oh, you don't like a gun pointed at your head? How about I remove it for you, huh? Okay, look, I'm sorry. It's just kind of distracting, you know? I mean, I'd like to think I'm as kinky as the next guy, but a girl got limits. Excuse me. Can you keep it down in there? Can't you see that me and the lady are trying to have a romantic evening? Thank you. What? Why are you doing this? Well, a man his name is... Don't play stupid, it doesn't look good on you. You've got an NPC in a box. You've got freaking spy delivering you messages about where this device is. Why are you trying so hard to get home? I... I love our life here. What we've built together, what we can do. I'm in command of an army here. Back home, I'd still be burger flipping street trash. I thought you felt the same way. And I thought you knew me better than that. I don't want to leave either. Well, then why? Yes, why? Because, because there are plenty of other people that do. Yes. And whoever controls the gateway... Yes, whoever controls the gateway... ...controls the world. Exactly. We're gonna build an empire. That's the plan. And you will rule by my side. Well, we'll discuss. Do you know what he did to her the last time they met? Huh? And then you just gonna let him take her? What the hell's the matter with you? Brave adventurer, you- Fuck off! Hey, I'm talking to you. Well, if you're not gonna do anything, then we'll go out there ourselves- What will you do, Jack? Gather up your forces? You don't think I've wanted to take the fight to them since we arrived? Then why don't you? Because this camp is made up of artists, cosplayers, Beautiful, creative, hemp-wearing hippies who wouldn't know what to do with a sword if you gave them one. 
The only warriors here are ones for social justice. Clint has handpicked his soldiers. He's only taking people who know how to fight. All the while the guards are here, they can only steal from us. But if they ever go away... That's not going to happen. I need to talk to Quinn. Alone. How about no, crazy fireball lady? You're the one who blasted my girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. No, you listen to me. I don't know who you people are or what is going on between the two of you. But my main priority is this camp. Obviously, you know each other in the real world. And it seems to be pretty intimate. But here... Wait, wait. What? Come on, Jack. Oh. Just... You have got to be kidding me! Ah. I'll make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. What a mess. Why did you blast her? She was about to shoot him. Maybe we should have let her. And then what? Does the guild parked outside our gates magically disappear? How many would they kill in revenge? Besides, when did we start killing each other to solve our problems? Look, we're gonna have to deal with Clint one day. No, I am gonna have to deal with Clint. You and I both know that as soon as you get this thing working, you'll be gone. And who will be responsible for the camp now, Quinn? Yeah, me. So yeah, I'm hedging my bets pretty heavily here. I'm playing both sides as much as I can because one day I might find myself alone and making some pretty uncomfortable alliances. Kate te am I right? Noticed how people are looking at you. New world, same old fears, it's sad. I wish I could make you understand that we're not all like that. My name's Kimberly. Ruga. Hello, Ruga. I specifically tell you to leave the elf chick out here. What happened? Uh, uh yeah, uh, uh, um, Quinn came uh, out to meet us before. Yeah, Quinn, don't worry, sweetheart. He should get what's coming to him pretty soon. Asshole. I'm a little confused. Would this be considered irony, or karma, or just poetic justice? Whatever it is, it's bad news for you. Oh yes, there is another orc in there. Did, did you want to talk to him? What? I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Okay, okay. Well, uh, you stay. Here and watch me, okay? Uh -huh. Evening! Hey, guess what? Hi, Kimberly. I just saw the, the most amazing thing. Pretty sure a dragon just, just flew overhead. Shit, really? Yeah, yeah, it was breathing fire and everything. Uh huh. Oh, what if it comes back? <laughs> hey, uh, you've been to some of my sewing classes, haven't you? Hmm? Yeah. Couple of times, yeah. Actually, you. Oh, good stuff, bro. I knew you'd figure something out. Hey, I'm sorry about the nose. That's all I could think of. Still, not the first time, eh? So, have you got the keys? What keys? Keys to the manacles, bro. How are we supposed to escape your life? 
Oh, no, 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 don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Listen, I need you to find something for us that might be able to get us home. It's a kind of a machine. It looks a bit like a computer, but it's all pipes and cogs. Bastard who runs this place probably has it. How do you know that? Because he stole it from me. I promised Jack he wouldn't have a mark on you next time he saw you. <laughs> but let's face it, with a little practice, it's surprising what you can do to someone that will leave no marks at all. to make up with your loser boyfriend? Uh, uh, or is there someone else going on I shouldn't know about? Uh, uh, you don't have to tell me now. We have all night. So this looks like the beginnings of an ill-conceived rescue plan. Maybe. I'll get my stuff. You know, I don't even think there's a word for what you are doing. Incest? Masturbating? Incesturbating. I don't need to explain myself to you. Oh, of course you don't. You don't have to do anything, do you? Lone Wolf Q just does whatever she wants as usual and damn how anyone else feels. You could never understand. Why? Because I'm too dumb? No, because you're too immature. You're a self-centered, insecure child whose biggest tragedy in life is having a virtual guild stolen from him. Okay, since we're laying it all on the line, you're an ungrateful, self-centered bitch who constantly endangers other people for her own benefit. No one forced you to come with me, Jack. I came because I thought that we were- There is no we! Wow. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought all those times I saved your ass actually counted for something. What is it you want from me, Jack? Is it sex? Because we can go and find a tent right now and I'll lie back and close my eyes and you can redeem all your heroic rescue points for sex. Shall we do that? Would that get you off my back? You have some kind of nerve calling me self-centered. You didn't even realize that I have been busting my balls to get you here, specifically to get you home. And I don't even want to go home. Well, I do. Well, I don't want you to. Torch Brigade arrives. Why should we? Because I saved his girlfriend. Amy, she's okay. She's fine. She's totally fine. Dude, please. Jack, this could be a trap. Shit. No. Look. I'm a spy. I'm working for Vanya. What? what? Yeah. I can't quite believe it myself. I'm a spy and I saved his girlfriend, even though I really didn't have to. Now I have things to tell you. Open the damn gate! What's happening? 
don't know. Ruka, hack track back. I think I have to go. Oh, bro, wait. Huh? Look, I'm not sure what's happening. But I can take a guess. Is the guy I'm thinking of taking over? Kevin, he'll kill me. Quinn, you have failed this camp. The people you have sworn to protect deserve better than you. Turn the camp over to me, or I'll burn it to the ground! Well, here we all are then. I hope you're happy with yourselves. I'm really not happy with myself. Neither am I. What's she doing here? Hey, God knows why, but I'm doing my best to keep you losers alive. She says she's a spy for a Russian player named Vanya, a guy we had a run-in with a while back. You're a spy? Look, it's nothing personal, all right? I was just asked to let him know when the gremlin chick arrived. He's after some computer device. He reckons he can get it going. So he's on his way here, and then he's gonna send me home. Everything else is just various amounts of bullshit I couldn't give two craps about. He's on his way here? Yeah. I guess I'm done here. I'll go out to meet him. What? Jack, it's okay. I, I, I think I can make a deal with him. And maybe convince him to help us get rid of Clint. Why would Vanya ever want to help us? Because we both want the same thing. Let's get this thing working. That's what Amy was looking for. It opens up a portal. Yeah, we've been figuring it out. There's one pretty big piece of information you're missing. If you want to go through, you can't have any alts left alive. Did you... Did you know about this? Is that why you brought me here? It's a decision we would have made together. And don't tell me you wouldn't have done exactly the same thing. Your alts. Yeah, yeah, it's all incredibly disturbing. But can we get back to the fact that we are now trapped in here? I mean, how are we supposed to get to Vanya when we can't even get out of the camp? We need to find Veruga. I can help you with both. You two, follow me. Serena. Don't worry about Clint. I'll sort him out. Q. Tell Vanya this is Serena's camp. He owes me a favor. What's all the noise, Clint? Evening, Serena. We don't want to cause any trouble. It's just time for a change of leadership. Hmm. Totally agree. This is my camp now. Where's... where's Quinn? Moving his things out of the command tent. It's late, Clint. Why don't you head on back to your camp? And in the morning, You see well... this? I was attacked tonight. No, Serena. We've gone beyond truces and talking. Either you bring me Quinn, or we're coming in to find him ourselves. Two minutes! You are going to go to a time out, mister! <gasps> Quinn, thank God. It's Clint. I know. would have killed him. He doesn't deserve that. You said he attacked you. His pet attacked us. We fought back. He fought to defend his pet. I couldn't let him go, and I couldn't just kill him. And... And what? I thought I could convince him to tell me how the machine worked. Because I took it from him. I'm so disappointed in myself. One minute! I'm not abandoning the camp. Look, it's all well and good to be noble and all that. Sometimes you just have to cut your losses. 
No one's asking you to stay. <sighs> yeah. I guess you're right. Time's up, Serena! We're coming in one way or another! Open the gates. Mm. Nice. I didn't like the idea of being trapped in my own camp. Well, I'd say it's been fun. Yeah. What's gonna happen to you now? It doesn't matter. Only one of us needs to make it back. any of this. You made the right choice. Oh, here he is. Thought you might have done a runner. Q's gone. So were her friends. I let them go. No one else. How noble. Four of you fan out into the forest to look for them. They kind of got them far. Come on, Clint. You've got what you want. No, I don't. Not quite yet. Are you insane? We'll see. There's a new sheriff in town. Shit! Run! You're not the only elf with a bow, bitch! Hey! Hey, it's just a kid! Why don't we care? Drop your weapon! Now you noobs will learn what happens when you mess with the devil's cheerleaders. You know I was high when I named your guild, right? What is that? So you're okay. He didn't hurt you. She, yeah. He hurt me plenty. That's okay. I hurt him more. And this? I got tired of walking. Got it from a ganker in the Black Claw Swamplands. He didn't need it anymore. Yo, Shrek! Bring this. It'll help. <laughs> Jack, I can't take everyone. We have to go, but... Ruga, go. Ruga, go. Ruga, no. Ruga, go, Dumbraka. I'm... Ruga, go, Dumbraka, Ma'ak. Ruga, Ma'ak. He's your brother. Ruga, I promise to protect you. Ruga, Dongi, go. You fight me? Ruga, only go cool. 
You fight for me. Okay. Brave adventurer, you look like the type of... Oh, did I interrupt your spiel? Sorry, please, start again. Brave adventurer! Kick him till he respawns! Leave him alone! Stop it! Hey, 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 don't! That's a really bad idea. Get off me. Yeah, let her go, Brenda. Don't get involved, okay? Where'd you live by, obviously? She's right, Serena. Don't get involved. Don't try to save the world. It never ends well. Kimberly. Hey. Eat a dick. You can fit another one in your mouth. Hey, buddy. You all right? You might want to find another camp to sell your quest, huh? How are we doing? Sorry, Serena. I wanted them to think we'd given up, but we haven't. I don't get it. What's going on here? Welcome to the Resistance. Where are you going? To scout the perimeter. What's in the bag? A packed lunch. Go and bugger off, then. It's not like we need you here. This is a man's world now. Yo, gate dude. Open up. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm coming, coming. Can't you open your own gate? Brandon? Oh, hello. <laughs> Have we met? It's... Is it really you? Brendan! The awesome! It's me! It's Steven! <laughs> oh! <laughs> you met my alt. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm I'm Brendan the Bold. Yeah, I made two characters, twin brothers. One's a wizard and one's a warrior. <laughs> like uh Rastalin and Karamon from Dragonlance. Well, it's a really good, really good series. Uh, where is Brendan the Awesome? <laughs> Do you ever learn to cast any spells? Uh, that, uh, that's the tunic of paranormal parchment. What happened? You, uh, he. He died. He died saving me. He died a hero. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry that I couldn't protect you. You deserve better. You deserve better than a piece of shit like me. You're not a piece of sh I mean, you must be a pretty special person. Or Brendan the Awesome to sacrifice his life. Well, he wouldn't do that for just anyone. How much longer are you going to stay angry with me? Uh, I didn't think forgiveness fit with the whole selfish, insecure child thing I had going on. You don't want me to call you a child, then don't act like one. I tell you to go screw yourself, but... Yeah, that's right. I screwed my ult. And I'd do it again. It was amazing! <laughs> Hell of a line to walk in on. <sighs> Where exactly are we? We keep heading down the main road. We should bump into Vanya. About a week on this side of the Grey Sea. Good, because I'm not keen on making that crossing again. 
just want to give you fair warning. I don't exactly know how this machine works. What do you mean? You, me, Vanya, we all have our reasons for wanting it. But it might be just a one-time use. If that's the case, I'm not giving it up without a fight. Neither will I. That's far enough. What? I don't exactly feel safe around you, Amy Alt Slayer. Relax, Jack. You are the very last Jack of all. And this character is always my favorite. How do I know you didn't say that to all the alts? You don't. <sighs> this seems unhealthy. And told me what you did. And I told you what he did. He told me that you came to him first. Do you have any idea how much you hurt me? And now you've hurt me, which I guess was your intention. Go away, Amy. You need to sort your shit out. Shit! What is it, huh? Hey, isn't that... Vanya's giant. What's he doing here? Why is he just standing there? Because he knows we'll stop here! Oh shit! Oh shit! Breathe? Can you not? Boom! Headshot! Hello. Hello. Good morning. You... I was... We were coming to find you. Looks like we found you first. Why are you here? We thought you'd be miles away. Well, I'm not exactly a patient man. After I released my spy, I kind of figured they would double-cross me. So we decided to go on a little road trip to the Greenstone Hills ourselves. Just on a hunch. Turns out we were right. What the hell is going on? Q! I'm here! Where's Amy? What the hell have you done with her? Hi, Jack. Amy, are you okay? Okay. Yeah, I think maybe I just might be. You've ripped the band-aid job, pulled the rotten tooth. I probably should thank you for it. What? See, we had a few things to discuss with Amy. So we woke her up first and came to an arrangement. She was unusually eager to get the two of you out of the picture. You asked me to go, Jack, so here I go. Well, you can thank Sheena for this little rig. She is surprisingly good with ropes. Both frightens and arouses me. And here's your little escape. All you have to do is figure out who wants it more. Good luck. Wait, wait, wait. I was coming to you for help. The camp you're going to. It's led by a healer named Serena. 
Is that true? If it's the bitch who blasted me, then yeah. She says you owe her a favor. Maybe we do. We don't owe you shit. Vanya, please. Please. This device. It's my only way back. Back home to my, to my child. Please don't take it from me, please. That explains a lot about you. We're not barbarians. Once we have the device, I give you my word of honor that you will be one of the first to use it. For a fair price. I don't give you that look, bro. He attacked us first. Besides, I'm sure it's not the first dead body you've seen. We can't just leave him back there. Oh, Jesus, Kevin, would you drop it? We need to get back to our own territory where we'll be safe. You kept me safe. You looked after me. All you've ever done is beat me up. Because you're soft, Kevin. I was trying to toughen you up. You think I enjoy kicking the shit out of you? Yeah, I think you did. You do not want to pass me up. We are going back. Okay, bro. Let's do this. Maybe if you move down the tree, I can get it. I don't think that that's gonna work. Oh. God damn it! Clear tight! Clear tight! <sighs> Would it have killed you to put out just one more time? Oh, I'm sorry for trying to regain my dignity. Well, you chose a hell of a time to do that. They're refusing to get back to work until they can see Quinn. And why are you telling me this? You're in charge now, remember? Because, Serena, people still listen to you. Otherwise, if they really want to insist on a tools down, I can think of plenty of very unpleasant ways to make them pick them up again. That's really inspiring leadership. Don't be childish, Serena. <laughs> you know what? You're all so worried about Quinn. Let's go pay him a visit. Then you'll see that I'm not fucking around. Stop! Stop! Son of a bitch! Stop! Well, what are we gonna do, Jack? What's your brilliant plan, huh? It's only a matter of time before some wandering mob sniffs us out and. I don't want to die in this medieval bondage rig. You blame me for this, don't you? What? No. Well, not entirely. No, I get it. This is between me and Amy, and you've just been dragged into it. Hey, what Amy's done is way beyond anything Yeah, but it all starts with that, doesn't it? Me and her and Clint and the cheerleaders. It's my baggage, not yours. Jack, I, I wouldn't be here without you. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten this far. I owe you everything. And I never thanked you enough. And holy shit, if we're talking baggage than mine, there aren't enough inventory slots in the game. Funny, isn't it? You'd think this place would be the ultimate do-over, but here we are. It's bringing it all with us. Oh, Quinn. Oh, God. Hey, Serena. How's your week been? Mine's been a bit shit. That's enough of that. 
This is what happens when people don't cooperate. You can't control your people. Anything that happens to them will be on you. This is going to be a hard lesson to learn, Serena. But we're going back to how things used to be, how they should be, ruled by the strongest, the most ruthless, the most powerful. And that's me. of what useful intel is might be a little rusty, but do you think it might have been good to tell us about the five massive tanks guarding this place? Relax. They're harmless as long as you don't get near them. So, where is the secret entrance of yours? Don't worry about her. She's with us. How far off are we? Ah, uh, pretty much done by what's happened. You're gonna take over the camp with a sewing circle. Kimberly, we need to activate your plan. We're out of time. Okay, hang on. Let me grab my stuff. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Can someone please explain to me what is going on? We're doing a faction quest. I spoke to one of the guards and he asked me to make them tabards to increase my reputation with them. Okay. So... So when we hand them over, we become their allies. They won't attack us. Even if we attack them first, we'll have our own army and they'll do exactly what we tell them to. No, that's not it at all. What? They become our allies, equals, not a slave army of NPCs. Okay, I have to say that sounds pretty sweet about now. Kimberly, we don't have time for this. They'll fight who we want them to fight. You are as bad as Clint. You don't care about the NPCs. You never have. We can't force them to fight for us. They'll respawn. Oh, and that makes it all okay. Kimberly, please. Oh, okay. Here you all are. So, what's with the tabards? Vanya, there in the white. I see who. There's something I need to tell you. I present you with this gift to seal an enduring alliance between your forces and ours five finest handmade tabards. There are only four tabards. <laughs> wow. 
Someone does not look happy. Do you think you could get him from here? It's pretty far off. Shit, what's he doing now? Where are they? What have you done with them? Neither do I know. Have you checked your inventory slots? Fight me, you son of a bitch! Come on! Just you and me! Come on! I will kick your ass! Q! What is it? Oh god. It's fading. Oh shit. Is this what you were getting? Hey, how many alts did you have in the game? None really, just me and Quinn, why? Oh no, 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 we can't. It can't be. You need to reach your knife. You have longer arms. Jack, I'll choke you. Then choke me. You can bring me around once you're free. Come on, before I realize how crazy this is. I'm sorry. Jack. Jack. Jack! Are you okay? Do you know who I am? No. Because you never let me in. Oh, I guess that worked then. How long was I out for? One very long minute. Oh. Hey, when you were out, did you see? Home? No, I just saw black. What are we gonna do, Jack? I have a massive head start. The bike. It's gonna take everything. Didn't we pass a farmstead a while back? I think I can take him. And blow cover? He's about to kill Serena. I'm taking the shot. And you'll miss, and all of this will be for nothing. She saved my life. This is precisely why I don't like owing people favors. Look, see? She's fine. For now. Where's the gnome? What? She kind of just disappeared. Now you'll all see what we do to traders and troublemakers. Maybe this could be our ticket out. Some people say, if you die here, you wake up at home. I was dying at home. Wasting away for all of you. I've got nothing to go home to. No. 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 Get off. Come on. Get off me. No. Get off me. No. There seems to be a disturbance up ahead. Not my problem. I'm done being everyone's get out of jail free card. Oh, we should do something. I am doing something. I'm going home. Any last words, sweetheart? Yeah. Eat my unshaven, sweaty ass, you limp dick skin faced piece of shit. Small matter to deal with. Finish this one off. And save the other one till when I get back. Okay? Oh, 
I assume someone would come back here snooping around at some point. But this is better than I could have ever hoped for. What's that, darling? I am a brave adventurer. Something for me. Anything. Anything at all. I need you to kill Clint. Where is that? What are you doing? Bitch bleeding out on the floor. Yeah, she told me to kill you. Well, that's just gonna be another of your friends. <laughs> Paladin healing magic, mate. Not as strong as Serena's, but it works for me. Oh, you don't have any magic, do you, mate? Excuse me? I, um, I finished your tabards. I hope you like them. I was wondering if um, I may request a favor only if you want to, of course, if it's not too much trouble.
I can still finish you off, mate. You always did use up your bubble to run. This what being stabbed in the back feels like, you son of a bitch! Amy says hi. said it wasn't here, underneath a sack at the back of the room. You told me before. You would sacrifice anyone, wouldn't you? To get back to your child. Because you wouldn't stop going on about it. In the tavern? In Hokeshire Dale? On the long walk across the black sands into the Shadowlands? Where you finally told me to just go. Stephen. Mabel told me about this gun. How it only has one shot how you told her to wait for just the right moment. Well, I've been waiting for the right moment. I have wanted to kill you for the longest time, you know? Because I wanted someone to be responsible for Brendan's death. And I couldn't understand how someone could be so selfish. But after being here, I think I finally get it. Because I finally met someone who I care enough about to do terrible things for. I forgive you, and so would Brendan. She must have kept herself alive for as long as she could, with all the healing potions in her pouches before I could get to her. And she had a lot of healing potions. <laughs> Damn straight. These things are like red gold. Yes, 
guess we get to drive each other insane for a while longer, huh? I just wish I could have seen the look on his face when you vanished. <laughs> it was pretty damn sweet. Well, there's an NPC wandering around this camp. We need to find him and get the final stage of this quest. Hey, hey, it okay. I'll take care of that. You just rest, okay? One more thing. Yeah? Are we cool? Yes, Jack. We're cool. <laughs> There you are. Hey, it's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna turn in our quest. You, you found the gnomish device? Yes, we did. Look. Oh, I commend you. You must have quested long and hard to find it. I have no idea. It is, of course, quite useless. Excuse me? Quite useless until you find the power supply. For that, you must journey far, far away to the tavern in the Greenstone Hills, which happens to be right here. How odd. Yes, and then? Speak to my brother. He's usually to be found standing by the blacksmiths. Greetings, brave adventurers. We spoke with your brother. Do you have a power supply for a gnomish device? Ah, uh, yes. Funny story behind that. So I was picking garlic in my fields, and I happened across an elderly uh, wizard. Do who... you have it on you? Yes, because the elderly wizard told me of uh, a can, time... Can we have it? Please. I suppose so. I think you just made her day, bro. That's not mine. Hiruga! Nyamplotum! Karalotka! Nigala! Yes, yes, of course. It makes sense. They used it first. Veruca. We're going home. <laughs> Whose room is that? It's mine. I use the machine. I'm in the system. Jack! Don't press that button! She's sick in the real world. If you send her home, you'll kill her. Okay, well, I'm sure that there's a way that we can- Jack, get away from it! Okay, all right, everybody just calm down, okay? I am not going back. We don't know if that's what's gonna happen. Exactly! Hugh, I think we need to take a minute.
That's for Vanya. <laughs> Gina! Gina! You saved my life, I saved yours. I owe you nothing. You, has the quest failed? The device has been destroyed. It is annoying. Home. It's a hard word to lock down because it means so many things to so many people. More than just a building, town, or even a country. Home is a feeling, a need to belong somewhere and be amongst family. To find a place to feel safe. A home can be a person, and when you're with them, no matter where you are in any world, you feel right where you are meant to be. But it can also be a place of pain, a place forged in struggle and heartbreak and loss, and all the stronger for it. This is my home now, and it is yours too, because we all fought for it. Tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome home. Okay, that's enough. Just a little longer. I'm fine, seriously. Just the last two bruises. I can live with bruises. Take it easy. Well, and there go your period pains. Is that what that was? My God, I thought it was just gas. You know, I think... I might be starting to see what you love about this place so much. So you think you'll stick around a little longer? I could be convinced. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, is that, was that too weird? I'm sorry, I just, I, I keep forgetting, you know, like, like it, it feels normal for me, you know, like, well, I, I suppose like as normal as it can be for like a male identified proto-lesbian. I always promised myself that if I was ever to get a second chance at life, I'd be open to new experiences. This looks like an ill-conceived attempt to go lone wolf. I can't stay here, Jack. I just... I just can't. I get it. We gotta keep trying, huh? Well, wait here. Let me get my stuff. Just wait here, okay? Q! Q! 
you. She's all that matters. I know. <laughs>